Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about how many projects you should have on your portfolio and I'm going to give you some kind of examples and ideas of what kind of projects you should have on your portfolio website. Alright guys before I start with this video I just have to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video A2 Hosting. It's the web hosting that I have been using for the past almost like two years and uh, it, it, it's really amazing. I, I can't really say anything wrong about them. You can, you can have unlimited websites on them. You can run PHP on it. You can run Python on it. Node.js. It's, it's really amazing, I'm telling you. There is a lot of other web hostings out there like GoDaddy or, or HostGator, like these really popular ones that they charge you so much more and they don't give you all this kind of flexibility. As you are growing up as web developers and you want to test new things like PHP, Node.js, Python, you can have all of them in just this hosting. It's really amazing, I'm telling you. If you check the link in the description, you will see that you, you can pay for this kind of a service like less than $3 a month. So anyhow, of course, you have your money back if you are not satisfied with it. All right, let's go back to our video now. And first of all, let me just address the part of the how many projects you should have on your website, okay? On your portfolio website. Uh, I know that a lot of you that you send me portfolio websites to review, uh, most of you, you have like six projects, seven projects, I don't know, a lot of different projects. And I'm going to tell you, me as someone that I have already reviewed uh, portfolios from many candidates for, for the company where I am and other companies where I have been, uh, I noticed that uh, if you have 100 people applying for one job, it's going to be very difficult for the people who are reviewing your portfolio to go through all your projects, okay? So, most likely, people who are reviewing you, like your portfolio, they will check a maximum of three projects. So, for example, imagine if you have seven projects in there and uh, maybe like uh, you have uh, your best projects are only two of them and the rest, and the rest are like... Uh, you know, not not that great. Uh, you can you can really miss something in here because they can check your worst projects and they will not touch your best projects. So in here, for the numbers, let me just be clear: go for three projects and no more than that. It, it's more than enough. All right. So now that you know how many projects you should have, like I told you, you shouldn't have more than three because it's gonna be difficult for the people who are reviewing your portfolio to check more than three projects. There is hundreds of uh, people applying for the same job. So make it easier, okay? So let's now cover what kind of projects you should actually have on your portfolio website. One of them that I recommend all the time, this is of course, this is mostly for people who are looking for their first job, okay? Because people already have jobs, they don't need too much of a, of a portfolio website. But, okay, first project that I recommend is building some kind of clone, a clone website. Let's say, for example, you go to a website like Apple, like Samsung. I'm gonna put them in here on the screen so you can just have a little bit of a see. They have a really simplistic and minimalistic design. And this is one of the things that you can say, look at this. If you go to this website, apple.com or Samsung, you, you know, you go to like big brands that they have really nice, good looking websites. You can just copy the front page of, of their, their website. And you know, it's almost like you are doing a um, PSD to HTML. You know, you are looking to a, through a design and you can replicate it. So this will show basically, uh, of course, make it responsive. This will show, first of all, that you can build a website looking at a design and um, you can make it very similar and you can make it responsive. The second one that I would actually advise to build is uh, some kind of website. Um, if, you, if you are struggling with ideas of uh, how to build a website that looks great uh, with a good design, because I know most of us, we are not web designers, okay? 
<laughs> most of us when we are building some kind of projects or something our designs look a little bit rubbish so go to websites like um, Envato themes I'm gonna put in here on the screen try to put so you guys can see Envato themes or you can go to um, uh, a W W Word, something like this. They have a lot of great websites out there. And this second project, I would advise you to build with something like Bootstrap, something like SaaS, you know. Um, so yeah, like the first project, a, a clone of an existing website, just make it responsive, all these kind of nice things. Um, second project, build something like another website but this time using a bootstrap using SaaS, some kind of these libraries that are really used uh, they are really a lot of a lot of companies they use them and and finally for the third project i would just advise you to build something with either react uh, Angular, uh, of course, if you are applying for a front-end uh, position, uh, build something with React, build something with Angular, because these kind of frameworks, they are really in demand. And uh, you guys ask me all the time, tell me, should I learn Angular? Should I learn React? And this is going to be really up to what your area is looking for. So let's say, for example, I live in Manchester in here in UK. And in here, React is much more in demand than Angular. So if I wanted to get a job now, I would, I would of course learn React and I would not be learning Angular because there is not so much demand for it. So you just have to go to these job boards of your, uh, of your city, of your country, where you are. Just look for this kind of um, uh, job ads that they have in there and see what they ask the most. And that's what you should learn should learn React or Angular depending on your area and build some kind of project on it. If you are building something on React, for example, and you don't have any clue about what you can build, you can go to my channel and you can see that I have a couple of uh, projects in there. Uh, so you can have a bit of inspiration. There is a lot of other, other projects for free here on YouTube. If you go to Udemy or something like that, uh, you can get some inspiration. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you could understand a bit about what I want to say in here. Number of projects that you should build. Three. No more than three, okay? Because people are not going to look through all your seven projects or whatever. Ah, and let me just tell you something in here. Don't put on your portfolio. This is something that I forgot to cover, but I have to mention it now before I finish this video. Um, don't put on your portfolio website the same projects that you are copying from uh, Udemy courses or from other places like the Udacity or, or Code Academy or Free Code Camp because most likely there will be thousands or hundreds, I don't know, of other, other, um, other people who are applying for the same job like you and they will have the same exact projects. What I recommend is really, if you are taking some kind of projects from Udemy or from some kind of uh, tutorials on YouTube, just take this project and, uh, you know, change it a little bit. Change the text, the images, tweak it a little bit, make it personal, okay? This is important because if you, if you are not going to put some extra work on it and you are going to be lazy and just copy whatever is on, on Udemy or, or on YouTube or whatever and, you, and you're going to put the exact same like a lot of other people are going to do, you are not going to have a chance to, to get uh, an interview at least, okay? This is just like my personal recommendation to you. Alright guys, so I think that's it for this video. Like I said, build three projects, the, the most, you know, the maximum number that I recommend. The three projects that you should build is a clone of a really big brand like uh, Apple, Samsung. I'm just giving you an example. Look for other brands, I don't know. There is cars, there is TVs, there is electronics. So many other big brands that you can go look to their websites and try to make a clone. Second project would be to build something that you would like with uh, Bootstrap, SaaS. I think this is really important because agencies and a lot of companies, they use Bootstrap and SaaS all the time. And finally, the last one that I would like to say is like build something with React or Angular, depending on your area. 
All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you could get some useful information out of here. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video, of course. Share it with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video.